that men would praise the Lord for his excellent greatness. Praise the Lord. And as always, greetings of apostolic victory. Our invitation of fellowship is a continued one. And Detroit Solomon's Temple is located at 2341 East 7 Mile Road. In New York City, the Greater Refuge Temple is located at 2081 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. And in the Jackson, Mississippi area, fellowship with us at that Space Age Church, the Refuge Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, located at 4456. Medgar Evers Boulevard. This week is a busy week here at Solomon's Temple. Pastor Bonner's class, The Signs of the Times, will take place on Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. He is requesting that everyone be present and on time. The semi-annual convocation of the Michigan Diocese of the Churches of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated, a mouthful, will convene here at Solomon's Temple on Thursday, November the 7th through Saturday, November the 9th. Thursday is Missionary Day, Friday is the Executive Day, and Saturday all day is Youth Day. Elder Carmel Long is hosting these proceedings, and Pastor Bonner will deliver the sermon each night. The annual Joy Bell concert entitled Glorify the Name of Jesus is scheduled for Sunday, November the 17th at 7 p.m. Come and hear this melodic bunch of young people lift up the name of Jesus. Call our prayer hotline with your prayer request at 893-2206 and let us pray for and with you. And saints of God, as you pray this week, remember these names from the hospital prayer list. Brother Ellis Taylor, Ford Hospital. Deacon Walter Johnson, Sinai Hospital, Sister Catherine Graham, Henry Ford Hospital, Cora McMillan Keith, West Point, Pennsylvania Hospital, Sister Verla McClendon, Beaumont Hospital, Brother Elsie Washington, Holy Cross Hospital, Sister Gloria Lewis, Sinai Hospital, Sister Laura Jones, Harper Rehabilitation Center, Thelma Smith, New Grace Hospital, Uridine Presley, Northville Hospital, Brother James Stanford, Saratoga Hospital Intensive Care Unit, Cornelius Jefferson Hillcrest Hospital, Brother Philip McDuffie Mount Clemens Hospital, Brother Irving Wimberly and James Hill, both in a hospital in Columbus, Ohio, Willie Jackson in Lansing, Michigan, Mother Ann Parrott, New Jersey, Brother John Curtin in St. Clair, New York Hospital, Sister Lula Hopkins, Chicago, Illinois, Sister Hill, Northville State Hospital, Herbert Gardner, Harper Hospital, and Presley Hunter, Veterans Hospital. Certainly those who pray can expect a miracle. And this week's reminder from God's Word is an answer to a question that's often asked in the midst of trouble, sometimes even in the midst of perplexities. I can hear the skeptics and the scoffers saying, what shall we say then to these things? And our response ought to be a resounding, if God be for us, who can be against us?
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you. Thank you. Solomon's Temple is as close to heaven as you can be without being there. It is the church chosen by Jesus Christ for the blessing of Mother too. The Spirit of the Lord in its true manifestation is revealed here this day. And those of you in the land of television and in the land of radio, on next Sunday morning, which is the second Sunday morning, you plan to meet us here. And if you think this is hot, then you meet us next Sunday morning. The house is going to catch on fire. And praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Everyone take the hand of another and let us say a prayer for those that are in the hospitals places confined some on that bed of affliction want to be healed want to be delivered want to be set free Lord in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands to thee Father no other help I know if I withdraw thyself from me, further shall I go. And thou hast the words of eternal life. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, somebody want to be healed. Somebody want to be set free, Lord. Somebody want to be lifted out of the seat of despair. Somebody want to triumph over the forces of evil. Somebody, Lord, crying with tears in their eyes. Need a miracle in their life. Need a miracle in the home. Need a miracle in the hospital ward. Need a miracle, Lord, in Jesus' name. Upon the sick bed, Lord. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on the sick, Lord. Put that right hand of power on her body right now, Jesus. Put your right hand of power upon her, Lord. Set them free, Lord. Give them victory. Give them triumph, Lord. Do it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Do it right now, Jesus. Do it now, Lord, so we can praise you. Do it now so we can glorify you so we can magnify you in the name of Jesus Christ. My daughter, my son, I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with me to the book of Genesis, chapter 25. These words are recorded. Verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee with that same red pottage for i am faint therefore was his name called edom and jacob said sell me this day thy birthright and esau said behold i'm at the point to die and what profit shall this birthright 
do to me? And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swear unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. My subject, I will fight to the finish for my birthright. I will fight to the finish for my birthright. Esau and Jacob are in Madrid at a conference called Peace for Palestine. One is on one side of the table and the other sitting across from him throwing insults at each other, accusing each other of being a thief. You stole my birthright. You took my birthright. America and Russia is trying to keep them together long enough for them to talk and find common grounds by which they can agree on territorial rights in that war-torn land called Palestine. And when you think of who the land belongs to, then you think of the Bible. Who has all rights called birth rights? Then you'd have to go to the Bible. The Bible positively and absolutely declare the land belonging to Jacob and not Esau. Understand the word birthright. Any right, privilege, or possession to which a person is entitled by birth. The rights are inheritance of the firstborn. Now, you know the story that Esau is the firstborn. In that light, that makes Esau the privileged son, the one that has all rights and privileges, are possession to which a person is entitled by birth. <laughs> the rights are inheritance of the firstborn. Esau stands tall because he is that firstborn. But in the case of Esau and Jacob, somewhere along the way, Esau sold his birthright. And he sold it for a piece of meat. High in the name of God. Can you sell your birthright? And I would like you to understand the magnitude of this birthright. Because heaven knows Esau had to be crazy. He wasn't just hungry, he was crazy. Amen. Listen to these words to understand the immensity of the birthright. Chapter 27 of Genesis, verse 28. Now here is the birthright blessing 
that Isaac is putting on Jacob. Therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, let nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mothers or sons bow down to thee. And blessed be he that blesses thee. Now note, curse be everyone that curses thee, and blessed be he that blesses thee. Now anybody will give up that kind of inheritance for a piece of meat. It's got to be crazy. I fast 40 days before I give up my birthright. Hallelujah. Your birthright is what belongs to you. It's yours. You were born with it. It's yours. It's what belongs to you. Your birth right. If it isn't worth fighting for, you should not have been born. You'd have been better off staying in your mother's womb. This man's soul is birth right. Now they are arguing about who owns Palestine, who have the right to it. Esau say he has, Jacob say he has. And yet, one of them must be the loser. Palestine cannot be petitioned as the United Nations is requesting it to be cannot be petitioned. For man's will cannot overrule the will of God. The nations cannot impose their will on God. God imposes his will on nations. Hallelujah. Now some of you are not Esau and you're not Jacob, but you're a child of God. Which means that you are born into the kingdom of God. And you have birthrights. Oh, thank you. You were born with it. Thank you. No child of God was born to live in poverty. Praise the Lord. No child of God is born to live in confusion or in bewilderment. No child of God is born to live in a depressed state of mind and spirit. No child of God is born commit suicide. No child of God is born for the devil to abuse you and to walk over you. No child of God is born to that curse. You're born to be blessed. You didn't hear what I said. Thank you, Jesus. It is adherent to you. It is in the word. I came that you might have life. I didn't come to bring you depression and I didn't come to bring you sorrow. I came to bring you life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he that believeth upon me, as the scriptures have said, Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Not just believe, but as the scriptures have said. You don't hear that. 
You see, all of you all got faith, but some of you all haven't got it like the scriptures have said. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, I don't want to shut up and down the aisles and walk out of here and let somebody else get my birthright. If I'm going to shout, give me my birthright. Praise the Lord. Give me what belongs to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, give me what belongs to me. Thank you, Jesus. Now, God Almighty has bequests to every child of God. Your rights and privileges according to the Word of God. Now, if you sit here and let those rights and privileges flow past you and you don't lay claim to it, that's your problem. You take these complaining folks. You take all these folks that the only thing you hear is complaining. How can I save child of God complain about anything because you have got nothing to complain about. Thank you, Jesus. Well, praise his name. And don't tell me about your situation and that I don't understand. Praise the Lord. Haven't you read the commitment that God has made to you in your birthright? Haven't you read? Listen to this carefully. Every valley shall be filled. You didn't hear that, did you? Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Let me say that again. And I want you to note the word valley. It doesn't mean a valley like one in the field out there where two Two pieces of land tilts. Two pieces of land tilts from two different directions and form a valley in the midst. It isn't talking about that kind of valley. He's talking about life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Life. Now some of you all are in the valley of life. And you don't belong in that valley. You don't belong in that valley. God didn't save you in a valley. He saved you, honey, and put you on the mountaintop. Praise the name of our God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. He set you in heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Now, who moved you out of that seat that God has set you in? Heavenly places in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You don't belong in the valley. Every valley shall be filled. Now once a valley is filled, it's no longer what? A valley. Now when God fix it for you, I say he's going to fix it for you, honey. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he's going to fix it for you. There isn't a saved person sitting in this church that God isn't going to fix it for. Do I have a witness in this house? Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Every one of you sitting here, if you're in a valley, let's plan to come out today. Praise the Lord. Let's plan to come out this valley. For God has not ordained you to the valley, but to the mountain. Oh, praise the Lord. Esau and Jacob in Madrid, fighting over territories. Glory, hallelujah. And you do have to fight to get what you want because there is a force called principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. There is a force. And this force is fighting against the children of God. The Bible say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, when Paul wrote that, I'm sure he didn't take into consideration that our warfare isn't just a warfare with principalities and powers, but we have folks in church to fight with now. Praise the 
praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. You got people sitting in church who are fighting against people. People sitting in church hating people. People sitting in church jealous of people. People sitting in church busy partying in your business and trying to mess up your life. Praise the name of God. You got a war going on right and left. And if you don't fight, you won't win. You got to fight for your birthright. Praise the name of our God. There is always somebody trying to whammy you. Like Balak and Balaam who tried to whammy the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Esau and Jacob. Jacob trying to come to his blessing and Esau trying to stop him from getting his blessing. But when you got a made up mind, praise the name of our God. Did you hear what I said? When you got a made up mind, I didn't say thinking about it, I said got a made up mind. Praise the Lord. When you got a made up mind, hell can get in your way, but he can't stop you. Praise the name of our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Principalities and powers can get in your way, but they can't stop you. Praise the Lord. The demons from the pits of hell can crawl out of hell. Praise the Lord, and they can't stop you. For there is no weapon that is on the dish that can prosper. Praise the name of God. And no person can rise up against you to block your blessing. Praise the Lord. Look at the word of God and see what you got coming, honey. You got so much coming. Praise the Lord. The Bible said when he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. And when he saw by himself, he looked around for something to swear by. And when he looked up at the universe, the universe spoke back to God and said, you can't swear by me because I got to pass away. Praise the Lord. Looked around at his celestial creatures that he had created, which means angels. And when he looked at them. Gabriel and Michael looked the other way and said, you can't swear by us because we can fail. Then who can you swear by? And the Bible said he looked around and he saw two things and they were immutable things. Praise the name of our God. And when he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself and took the two immutable things and said to the two immutable things, you my witness. <coughs> Hallelujah. You are my witness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The two immutable things will be here when everything else has gone under. Praise it because they are a part of his personality. Praise the Lord. When he looked at the two immutable things, he said to them, I want you to uh, uh, sign, uh, uh, witness my signature. Praise the Lord. I want you to notarize it because I'm going to swear this day. Notarize my oath. The, the one of the immutable things notarized here. The other immutable thing notarized on the other side. And they say, we got you. Oh, God, we got you. And the Lord stood up and said to Abraham, I swear to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that same oath that he made to Abraham, Jesus Christ came in the likeness of sinful flesh. Stood between heaven and earth. Stood between hell and heaven. And said to the church, I swear to you. And this time, I'm not going to use the two immutable things. I'm going to use my blood. Praise the name of God. 
Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my blood. Uh, I want my blood to sign it. Uh, I want my blood to record it. Uh, I want my blood to write it. Uh, I will never leave you. Uh, I will never forsake you. Uh, Woo! Jesus, never, I swear to you, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to multiply you, I'm going to make ways for you, I'm going to bring down your high place, I'm going to fill up your valley, I'm going to straighten your crooked, I'm going to heal your body, thank you, sir. Somebody tell him thank you. I didn't hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I swear to you that I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to bless you and hell can't stop me. Hallelujah. And hell said I will stop you. Glory be to God. I will stop you. And hell took Jesus Christ and took him down to the lockup. Hallelujah. And when they took him down to the lockup to lock him up with Abraham and all of the rest of the children of God that he had on the lock and key, when Jesus Christ was taken to the lockup, he stepped out of Malto into immortality stepped out of natural into spiritual and when he stepped out of natural into spiritual and turned around and looked lucifer in the eye and said to lucifer you remember me i'm el shaddai praise the name of our god hallelujah Thank you, sir. You better praise him, honey, because he's going to bless you. Woo! Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, my sin. I wish I had somebody to pray for me today. Well, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Stood up in hell. Praise the Lord. Told that demon I'm El Shaddai. I'm not Mary's baby. I'm not Joseph's son. Praise the name of I haven't got no earthly father and no earthly mama. Praise the Lord. Then who are you? I'm what I was when you said you were going to ascend above the stars, set your kingdom above the corners of the north. I am he that stretched out the heavens by myself, meted out the heaven with a span, comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure. I'm him who measured the waters in the hull of my hand. I am him, praise our God, who weighted the little hills in balances and the big hills in scales. I am he that the whole world has got to reckon with. I'm Alpha. I'm Omega. I'm the beginning. I'm the end. I'm the first, and I'm the last. And here you sitting in church, worrying about tomorrow, worrying about how you're going to live, and how you're going to pay your bills, and how you're going to get through. You don't worry about nothing. God, God, oh. Jesus. Now, before I go any further, I don't know if I got a witness or not. I might be blessed. 
just running off at the mouth. Praise the name of our God. If you believe the word is right, take somebody by the hand and say, we're taking a miracle home with us today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're taking a miracle home. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to fight for this birthright. This is my birthright. <laughs> this is my blessing. And I don't care what you say. You never make me doubt it. Mm -hmm. You never make me doubt him. Praise the Lord. And the reason I can't doubt him is because look where he brought me from. Mm -hmm. Glory. 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 He picked me up on a rubbish pile. He picked me up when I was a nobody and made me what I am. Yes, sir. He loosed me when demons had shackles on me. He loosed me when Satan had a noose around my neck ready to string me up. But Jesus came by and said, cut him down. Cut him down. Cut him down. Whoa. Glory. 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 Thank you, sir. Cut him down. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Michael took his sword and cut the cord. And when you fell, Jesus caught you. Hallelujah. And he's been carrying you ever since. And you're going to sit here and tell me that you can't make it? You're going to sit here and tell me that you're losing the battle? You gonna sit here and tell me that the Satan is gonna walk away with the victory? I say he's a liar, and so are you. Whom he found you, he predestinated. And whom he predestinated, he called. And whom he called, he glorified. And whom he glorified, he justified. What can we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Somebody need to declare victory. Somebody need to declare victory. Somebody need to declare victory. Somebody, somebody needs to declare victory. Somebody, somebody needs to declare victory. Somebody, somebody. Now, 
Before I sit down, I want to know what you think and what you feel. I know what I feel. I know I got the victory. How you feel? Huh? How you feel, honey? Fight you, Satan. I'm gonna fight you, D. 